Here we are again with the on Titan Season 4, Episode 3. And I guess the big takeaway from last episode is that Zeke and Reiner and prob probably some others want to go back to Paradise Island to get the Founding Titan back because right now Titans are not as feared anymore because weapons advance so fast that they can get rid of Titans very easily. Like even the Armor Titan can be killed with one good shot basically. And it, and it will just get worse. So by taking the founding titan back and getting like all the titans back, I guess they could show again that titans are to be feared and that they have still strength, basically in numbers. <laughs> and so yeah, that's basically their mission now, I guess. And that's, I think, is a big takeaway from episode two. But yeah, if you like what you see or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. They abandoned us? Is she talking about the other aliens? Oh, is this young Zeke maybe? Flashback? Or maybe young Reiner? Or someone else? There are so many with blonde hair. There's also Falco and... Oh, it's Reiner. Also, if they become a warrior, basically one of the Nine Titans, they are Malane, Malanian? And that's Zeke, I guess. And they were hyped about it. あ、もう。違うな。お前が評価されたのは。俺たちの任務をバカにするのか。それとも。でも、ライナ <laughs> Damn, Reiner was a crybaby. Basically, kind of like. <laughs> God damn, she kills insects. Took a con complete concentration to kill it. And they really get that like hammered in. Like the people on the islands are the bad ones. We have to kill them. They are the worst. And everyone is like, yeah, we have to kill them. That's like our goal. That's like the best thing we could do. Ooh. Oh, the oh, they became the titans. I would like to see who was, who had those titans before. We know that. It can call pure titans. Oh, that's a scream. Oh, pure titans is basically like bland titans. Yeah, stamina for, for tank. Oh, this is the jaw titan. So they took it from Yumi already? Oh. Oh, she? She's the one. Ugh. Dude, that's basically a noob. But I'm confused now. Damn. This child's already killed whole countries. What I'm wondering about is this didn't the Jaw Titan kill one of their friends? But they had the Jaw Titan. So how did that happen? It's that. Oh. 
なんでしょマレジになったんだ。いパンチョスこれで一緒に暮らするな。あの、ノーダスティアレン。お前の羊が調べられたら俺の一家はおしまいだ。Oh yeah, because he is not an alien, right? That's the problem. ないな。待っているからね。Yeah, because he Mio was like underground, right? And then she came out of the ground and just ate someone. That's what confuses me. Didn't they got told that? Oh no, yeah, they didn't know. Grisha. Went there to, get, to take the founding titan. What? You weren't? Wait, I have to go back. What? They got the titans because they made the other one guy look worse? Poco was supposed to be normally the armor titan if he wouldn't have looked so bad because, because of the other guy? Oh, yeah, th th that's the Jaw Titan or not? Like I said, isn't this a Jaw Titan? Didn't Marley have a Jaw Titan too? Are there two Jaw Titans? I'm confused by this. Just transform, easy. Dude, he is such a crybaby. Oh! <coughs> so she was a normal titan and she ate him and he was a jaw titan. But why didn't she change how she looks? I'm still confused. How could she eat the jaw titan and still look the same and not change how she looks? Maybe because... Maybe because if a titan eats a titan, like a normal titan eats a, eats a special titan, it doesn't change? Yeah, right. Good analysis. Yeah, they're in a pinch. Go back, you die. So, so they have to go forward. Man, the first three episodes have so much dialogue. Oh, there's a kick of her. She likes a kick. Oh! Holy shit! Holy shit, bro! Holy shit, I thought they were friends. I... I never would have expected that they had differences like that before they... Holy shit, she, she kicked the living shit out of him. Good thing he's a titan so he can recover. Wow. And then it started. It's so good that we finally get backstory, like how it happened exactly. Oh, there she... Oh my god, Fritz, right? That's Fritz. Royal bloodline. It's interesting that the titans have the normal size they have as adults, basically, even as kids. Did he choke her out? <laughs> that she was like, collapsed? Warrior candidates and honorary Malanians. Uh, oh, that's how they got the, their story straight. Did they kill people for that? For the information, basically? Oh no! It was like a random stranger they heard it from and they just copied it. I thought maybe they would have taken hostages to get the to get like a story because they don't know anything about this island. Oh, Kenny! Oh! <laughs> Kenny's not dumb. Oh, she caught him off guard a bit. <laughs> and he's like, nope, not letting her get away. 
<laughs> and there it starts that they tell the weather by how he lays in bed. This is so interesting. Yeah. Do they know that Eren has a falling titan at this point? I can't remember. What was she looking for? Maybe to get to the to the king? And that's why she's going to through the sewers. Damn. No rest for the wicked. He has to keep going. Yeah, I mean, he never really saw action because he was always out of the action. Because of being a titan or whatever. It took him forever to get his, like, first official titan kill. Oh, Reiner? Is he here now? He can't do it? No, that's Falco. Why? Maybe he doesn't want to go back so badly that he thinks about killing himself? Uh oh. <laughs> this is Aaron. ETSD. It sounds a bit like him. Did he cut off his leg to fake an injury? They hide him so much, I'm pretty sure this is Aaron. I mean, he knows what he's talking about because he also has only limited time to live. I mean, basically the same with, with Mikasa. Oh my god. Ong. Ong. I mean, it's basically the same for him too with the war, right? Just that he's fighting something else. Yep. <laughs> continue to be continued. Oh my god. Okay, this was episode 3. Man, another episode with lots of information. And man, we got like all the backstory from Reiner, Berthold and Annie and Marcel. Um, like the, the childhood and how they came to Paradise Island and what happened, how they started the attack and everything. Like basically everything from before season 1 to beginning of season 1 to like later into season 1. Um... And it's very interesting because there's so much stuff that I didn't thought, like, um, for example, that Reiner was such a crybaby when he was younger, and that he was, like, so shocked when Marcel got eaten and everything, that he was, like, completely devastated, and then Annie kicked the shit out of him completely, <laughs> while Berthold is just standing by and watching, and then Annie is like, yeah, we should leave maybe, and Reiner's like, yeah, pff. Then we can, then we just get killed, and someone else gets the Titan power, which I guess would be the conclusion of that outcome, um, because I can't see that they could go back and they would be like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's fine, you failed, try again, um, and yeah, I mean, something that confuses me is that Ymir came out of the ground, was already tightened, ate Marcel, and she didn't change into the jaw titan because Marcel had the jaw titan so it makes me wonder if you are already a titan and then you eat one of the nine titan you don't transform you basically just have the power inside you but you don't act actively have the power i guess maybe so because i guess how it works is you have to take the serum and then you have to immediately when you transform 
eat someone that has the nine one of the nine powers right to get the power like when like with grisha and aaron grisha gave him the serum he transformed into the into a titan aaron and then he ate grisha immediately and that's how he got the power right that's how it works so the emir was already a titan before so it didn't work on her right that's what i think how it happens um and yeah also interesting to see like the different uh like the different abilities of the titan that uh Annie could that that's one of her abilities is that she can like lure pure titans which is interesting that those are called pure titans um and all the other stuff and yeah the and especially that it's like based on the characteristics of the characters like Reiner is like has a lot of stamina so he becomes the armor titan because he has lots of stamina and if he can just run through all the attacks with a stamina that's like very good for him right and any being like very agile and very strong so she's like a ba perfect balance between those things and then you have like the quick witted marcel who takes the agile jaw titan that is like very fast and the most agile one and everything um and then you have berthold who's just a nuke basically um and then the whole thing when they attacked and everything and plotted behind the scenes which we never saw obviously that any was like going through the sewers to find a way to the founding titan and then they planned and then we found out how they started the attack on war rose because they wanted to lure out the attack titan uh, the founding titan and i mean this whole thing could have gone completely different if they have if they would have known long before that Aaron had the founding titan in him already when they started the training to become soldiers so that could have gone completely different because back then Aaron was pretty weak and useless so he would have he could have done nothing against them he didn't even have control over his titan powers so they could have just taken him if they had known before that so maybe next episode will be more action packed because the first three episodes I think were now very much like information based first episode had some action and information and now episode two and three i feel like we're basically just information dumps so with the next episode maybe it gets more actiony because maybe Aaron now starts to do stuff i guess we will see but yeah if you like what you saw or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or comment i would really appreciate it and it, and it would really help me but yeah thanks for watching until next time bye bye